Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you how to set up a RESTful web service uh, and I'm going to be using Glassfish and NetBeans, so I'm going to be coding in Java today. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open NetBeans and you want to come over here and create a new project. So we're going to click Java Web, Web Application, uh, Next. Now we're just going to call this Test Project next and um, we're just going to select our server here so glassfish server next and finish now so the next step is to come over here to services and what we're going to do is create a connection to our database so i just have a database set up here on php my admin so it's just a basic database that has uh, one table called accounts and it just stores an ID, username, password, email, just pretty basic stuff. So what we're going to do is create a connection to that database. So we want to right click here on databases, new connection, and we want to just select MySQL. This is our library file here, we want to just click this. And we need to put in the user, or the database name here. So. It's called users and if you have a password set you want to just put it in here so we're just going to test the connection so that's successful next next finish now so we've made a connection to our database the next step is to start your glassfish server uh, so I already have mine running so if you don't you just right click hit start uh, we want to come back here to our project now and what we're going to do is go to new other and we are going to add a glassfish jdbc resource file now so it's going to ask if we want to use an existing connection pool or create a new one so we're going to create a new one so let's just call this um, connection pool users. Next, next, and we'll call this connection pool users as well. Next, finish, that's perfect. Now, so if we go into our resources file here, that's the file that we just created there. So what we want to do is we want to put this file onto our Glassfish server. So we'll come back here to services. We're going to right click and you just click here on the view admin console. Uh, NetBeans has a bit of a bug so if that doesn't work for you, you can just open your browser. And you can type in localhost and whatever port you're using. And there'll be a link here to go to the admin console. Now, so we're going to click on resources here once we get into the admin console and we're going to add a new resource. So what you want to do is you want to choose the file now wherever you have your NetBeans projects and just go into the project file and it should be here in setup. So Glassfish resources, perfect. And hit OK. There we go, so we've added the resource and we're just going to double check now to see if we have that connection pool. So you go down here to JDBC and hit connection pools and we called ours connection pool users. Now we can just ping that to see if that's working. So that all seems to be fine. Now, so we can go back to NetBeans. And the next thing we want to do is to actually create our RESTful web service. So we're going to click on our project, once again, new, and we're going to go to other. So if we scroll down here, there's a web services option. And from that, we want to pick RESTful web service from database. So next. Now, so we can pick a data source here. 
So what we're going to do is scroll down to the very bottom and we're going to create a new data source. So we'll call this our user database. One. Now, so once you have the database name in, you can pick your connection that we've already made. So in our case, it's to users and hit OK. Then you want to grab whatever tables you want. So here we're just taking accounts, add it over, hit next. Then we're going to just name our package user, hit next and finish that. Now, so NetBeans will auto-generate all this code for you. So here you can see we have our accounts class, which is actually known as an entity class. So this maps to our database object. So it has all of the attributes that are in the database. So the username, the password, the email. And if you want to come down here, we have our endpoints and these just allow us to get that information, put information, delete information. This is all from that table, uh, user accounts. Now, so the next thing we want to do is we want to test this to make sure that this is running. So we can come over here and we want to just clean and build. So that's all right. And then we're going to deploy it. So come down here to deploy. And as we can see here, our web service has deployed. So the next thing we want to do is create a new project and we're just going to use this project for testing. So we're going to go here, Java web, another web application. We'll just call this cool tester program. That's fine. Now, so what we're going to do is go back to our original project and we're going to go to test RESTful web services. Now you can browse here from the, the options you have. We're going to select cool tester program and hit OK. Now once again NetBeans will auto-generate all this code for you. It seems to be alright. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here on testrestbeans.html. We're going to select whatever browser we're using. So I'm using Chrome. And we're going to right click and run that. Now, so this is... Um, where we can actually test our endpoints to see if everything's working properly. So if we click here onto user accounts, um, we can just see whatever is in the database if we hit test. So as you can see, we have two or three people in there. So John and Bob. Now, so we can actually open up the user accounts and we can do more specific things like get someone by their ID so if you click ID and we'll say ID 1, hit test, so we got back the first guy and this is just returning it as a JSON object. So we can also do count the amount in there. Yeah, so guys, this is basically where you can test out all of your, um, your endpoints. Yeah, so guys, that's basically how to set up a very basic RESTful web service using NetBeans. Um, I hope this video helped and I hope that you're all able to set up your own web services as well. And if you have any questions or anything like that, just leave it down in the comments.